Hey guys, I just wanted to do a tutorial today for purples. I mentioned in my last video that I'm very into purples right now for some reason, and blues also, but um, this is going to be a tutorial for purple eyes. So I'm going to start out today with Fresco Rose Paint Pot, and I'm just going to apply this with my finger. See if you can spot this one. I'm going to start by applying with my 252 um, digit to the inner corners. This is really pretty creamy satin. It's right there. Apply that to my inner corner. And up to my crease. Um, next I'm going to use Poison Pen, which is a new matte square color right there. Um, this is a really pretty uh, purple color. But I really like it so I'm gonna again use my 252 and this is going to be my outer corner increase color so I'm just going to apply it in those areas kind of making a windshield wiper motion And I found that that motion is most effective in dragging the darker color towards the lighter color. Of course, you still blend. Now I'm going to pick up my blending brush and go ahead and add some floof for highlight on my brow bone. And as I'm applying, I'm going to blend this line here. I really like the, just a little bit of um, frost with the mattes. I really, I love the new collection. I love matte squared. Now just for a little fun, I'm going to take some Idolize, which is this color right here. Um, it is an intense luster, but it is pretty much the same color as Poison Pen, except much lighter and much more metallic. But I'm just gonna take some of this and my Handy Dandy 219 and line under my eyes, the lash line. Very subtle, but I like that. Lastly, I'm just going to use some liner, and these two are even, believe it or not. This is the difference a shadow makes. <laughs>
Now this would be a great time to have macroviolet, a fluid line, or a purple liner, but I know that not everyone has every color liner. I have this brush and it is the 212 and I absolutely hate it. It's a flat um, brush, I guess used for liner, but I, I don't like it. We don't get along very well. Um, however, I found that it is pretty handy dandy in applying color. I'm going to take my 212 and put some poison pen on one side of it, like such, and then go in my waterline and just tap it on. Of course it won't be very dark, it won't be the same color, but this is pretty handy. If you don't have every color liner, you can use the same color as your eyeshadow. Because your waterline is already wet, it just kind of adheres to it. <laughs> All right, last step for the eyes, I'm just going to add some Plush Last Mascara in black, Plush Black. <laughs> um, I love this new stuff, and I'm very glad that MAC has given me the, has redeemed itself as far as mascara goes. We'll see how it, what happens over time, you know, I'm not discounting that it could dry up like my Zoom Lash did. But I like it, there's a nice fat brush not too fat and it applies well so no one waiting by your side you've been wrong hiding much too long you know it's just your foolish mind Bye.